gentlemen, our next contest will be fought in the MCP Heavyweight Division. Please welcome the first fighter making his way to the blue corner, Amiran Severni. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our second fighter, making his way to the red corner, Evangelos Mumsi. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing these two MCP warriors once again. The fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 32 years of age. He weighed in at 144.2 kilograms and has an unbeaten record of one fight with no losses. He represents Thessaloniki. He is Amiran Sebani. Across the cage in the red corner. This fighter is 29 years of age. He weighed in at 142 kilograms and also has an unbeaten record of two wins with no losses. He represents Lamia. He is Evangelos Mumsi. Michael Osmundi is a decorated black belt, BJJ uh, black, uh, black belt against Amiran Severni. The big guys. This is the heavyweight division. I think it's a super heavyweight it's, division. It's, 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 super it's heavy the heavy super heavyweight division. And also, uh, Amiran Severni has a height advantage at uh, 1.89 uh, meters. Uh, this is only 177, 175, excuse me. Let's see how this fight will unfold against the big guys. I think that this is going to be oh, a fight. Amiran, Amiran no. goes on. Mumji, Mumji get his, gets him all up oh. against the cage. Let's see if he's going to finish the double leg takedown. Amiran oh, is punching on the back. Yes, this is a little strike. Immediately he gets a warning from our referee. Now Mumji is, is switching from a double to a single leg. Let's see if she can finish. I and now she's, she's, she's trying for an ankle pick. Yeah. yeah, ankle pick exactly on the other hand. It's gonna be really hard actually from that position for to pick a guy who weighs uh, that much. That much. 
Although they almost weight and they're almost identical at the weight department, I think. This needs, needs this needs exactly needs to switch on the single leg. Let's see if he can finish it. Uh, I'm really trying to punch him just in the face. I don't know if he can reach it actually. Yes. Or if he's it. just punching uh, someone in the body. And he's going back to the single leg. I think I think Montez leg. needs to commit on that single leg. I Let's think he needs to commit on the single he's grabbing leg. low on the calf actually. Amiran should use should now use the space that he has on the left side of his and make the escape outside. But he's not doing that. He's staying back there. Same now Montez also team. got his right hand back there, so he's going for the meetup just in case. Now Montez goes back into the single. Now it's a time for Amiran to make his move on the left and escape from the single leg. It doesn't look like he's going to try. He's going to try to escape actually. Uh, uh, I don't think so too. He's just think. he's just basing out, pushing his hips back on the cage trying to uh, pass as many punches as he can. Let's see, Montez now getting back up with, with the underhook. Double underhook, actually. Yeah, he's got the double underhook. Let's see how this fight will unfold. Amiran is fighting, I think he's fighting for the for repommeling, and now they're on the 50-50 clinch. Oh, now the break up. Now the break up. Let's see how this fight will unfold. The big guys, they use a lot of energy to move. Let's see, and, and a right hand from Amiran, and a knee from Amiran. Oh, big punch from Amiran. Amiran, a low jump on G. Let's, on G, on G, looks, looks like he, he, cool, he looks cool, yeah. He doesn't look like he's faced, but he cannot take that punch. This is the big yeah. guy's division. This is the big guy's oh, division. Amiran's landing big, and he's stepping back. I think now Mugis is concerned right now. I think Mugis is trying to shoot for a takedown. And a knee. Knees. Just stand right there. He's giving Amiran his chance to strike again. It's not, it's not a good reaction from Mugis. Mugis should try to do exactly as he started. He's he's just moving backwards. Mugis is moving backwards now. He lets Amiran do all the game and does all the action. Amiran was a little bit spending now. He loads with a big right hand on Mugis. Let's see. Uh, that's, a, that's a fake from uh, Mugis. He's trying to keep Amiran out of his way. He does a lot of things. Yeah. Another, another. Mungi needs, Mungi needs to act. It's Gantman really is close to stop the action, maybe. He goes to the body of Iran. He's not fighting back. He's just covering him. I think that he's losing his way. He's out here. He's pushing him. He's pushing him away, Amiran. That was a really clever push, actually. If he wouldn't just go into a clinch. With the Brazilian G. teaching black belt, exactly. Amiran is playing a very smart game plan game. And now he unloads a power punch. And now I'm just going to try another takedown. Let's see if he can finish it right now. Well, Looks like he spent a lot of energy actually in his first attempt. What are the guys that seem spended? I mean, I can understand that, you know, judging from the big size, I think they're heavyweights, they're super heavyweights actually. Let's see. But Mugis needs to move. He, need, he needs to do something from this position. He needs to do something from exactly. this position. He needs to go for the single leg, abandon the double leg and go for the single. And actually, he cannot afford to, get, uh, to keep getting damaged. Amiran doesn't care about, uh, about escaping from the case. He's he just going to get damaged. Let's see now. Referee now stops the, referee the action. Is, uh, he's going to fight the center of the case. I think Munji is looking for, for the clock. Let's see, Amiran is going to upload that right hand. He's coming. Oh, I like it. Back into the action. Back into the action. Just needs to move. That's some good dirty boxes from Amiran. Oh, another. Oh, and it's the it's time for the round. Wow. Really? That last punch. Amiran is trying, trying to get out. He's trying to get out out of the cage. I don't know if he got confused. Is he from? Is is he decent from uh, the? Exhaustion? I don't think so. He was doing all the damage. As you see here. The replay landing. Good strikes. And now, uh, head Amiran, kick attempt. Amiran gets the kick, exactly, the high kick, and then he goes into the action. Mugis is just covering up. He's not trying to close the distance. Mugis should try to close the distance all the time. He can't let Amiran land these punches again. 
Very that was a really to see. I'm mean, really curious to see how this next round will unfold. Cardio wise, mostly. I want to see how. I really want to see that kind of tactic that Exo. this is going to walk into the second round with. I mean, really, he got. Uh, he got everything he needed to know that he cannot really stand, uh, stand up against Amiran. Amiran. Exactly. He cannot stand still. He At least that. he needs to win. He needs to win, to win the cage wall fighting. Let's see if he's going to do that. But he's not doing any significant. That's a whole problem. While Amiran on the other side, he's doing significant damage. Exactly. exactly. Let's see right now the big guys on the center of the cage. I think Amiran is, is looking for that oblique kick. Amiran with the right oblique kick. Let's see who's going to do One, two combination from Amiran. Very nice. And he's covering up. That left landed clearly. He needs to work. G needs, needs to work. He needs to work. G shoots, shoots for takedowns like crazy. He cannot just cover up right there on the cage. That's a prince. He's gonna put Amiran against the cage. That's gonna stop Amiran from striking. Exactly. But he needs to be active because, like the, uh, on the first round, Mavrid is the referee. He's gonna separate them and start them in the middle of the cage. He needs to be. He needs to do some significant with his wrestling. I don't think Amiran's gonna get Mumjee in a guillotine choke. I think that's, I don't I think I think that's a really yeah. hard, but now Mumjee's going for the double leg. I think, let's see, uh, the, there's a great chance of Kinda, uh, it's more on the team that he should. He helps Mumjee finish the takedown, but that's not the case as it seems. Mumjee's is getting back up. He's pushing against the cage, but he's really, not doing much. Both guys not doing much. Neither Amiran trying to escape from the field position, being backed against the cage. But G is pushing him. G is, is, is leaving his chin open. And G should just keep his hands up. Amiran is gonna, is gonna take every chance he's got right now. G should shoot for takedowns. He cannot cover up. Whenever, oh, oh, big yeah, elbows yeah, landing yeah, from Amiran. Punches. Oh, Amiran's He's covering up. Amiran's trying to fix the fight with those elbows. And a knee from Amiran. And he needs to work. He needs to work. He cannot cover up. When he sees punches coming, he should not shoot for right him. Amiran is making these explosions. Now he's just covering up. He, he needs to. Oh, yeah, Amiran's trying to take it back, but actually, he keeps his own. And break up. Just in the middle of the second round. Amiran keeps landing strikes. A lot of damage is spent by both guys. Amiran has been really active with his strikes. A job from Amiran, landed. but lands. Amiran is also the hometown advantage. Another strong job from Amiran. And G coming from Lamia. As you can hear the crowd is cheering from the hometown. One, two from Amiran, but two misses. He's not doing anything, but just a stand there. He's a, he's a, he's a, a still target. He's, a, he's not moving. Exactly. It makes it even easier for Amiran uh, to let him. Uh, Amiran I mean, how, I mean, has his legs down, his, his, his hands, hands down. But Mumji's not taking any advantage of that. He, he should just push forward with the jab and at least take him on the cage. A high kick from Mumji. High kick and, and now Amiran makes Mumji pay for it. Amiran wants to stay at the center of the cage. The jab lands always. Amiran lands the jab. He misses with a cross, but he lands the jab. It's always the first, uh, the first punch that he's landing. Uh, if that landed, right hand. He just has his hands down. Provoking Amiran to step in. Is this a game plan for him, Jake? Could this be a game plan? I, I mean, he's so. there. Oh! <laughs> <And I laughs> <would> just, <laughs> this is provoking him. That's nice. That's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Just, just keeping his head. I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's part of the he's plan. He's up, really risking taking, <laughs> he's taking a down. big risk. He's bleeding. He's really, really tired. That Amiran is affected by the whole taunting thing. I mean, is it is it possible? He's know. winning. He's winning both rounds. So that's for sure. Of course, of course. Let's 
see. And one thing that Amira should be doing, should be keep the off doing actually, is the dirty boxing. He was landing big punches when he was holding the Titans with one arm and landing punches with the other. That jab landed. Ten second mark for the end of the second round. One two from Amira and a body kick and a body kick and a one two again. And we got two rounds on the group for this heavyweight, the super heavyweight, actually, guys. Let's see, I'm really, really curious, actually, because I'm around, look, uh, look tired right now. I'm just even more tired. They're both tired, I think, but Amiran, Amiran does this small burst of one, two, one, two, maybe three combo hits, and then just backs up at the straight line. He's not moving circularly around. He's moving just a little back. Yeah, and actually, that's the most that he's doing because usually he's just standing right there and covering up, which is not a good strategy. We're talking about the super heavyweight division here. Every strike counts. The big boys, they got power at, at, at their hands. You cannot take, you cannot risk to take that kind Point of punches. So. Moving to the last round of this super heavyweight Point fight. So. Let's see. Let's see what it's going to be. Five more minutes left. Can Mungji make a huge comeback after losing clearly and dominating rounds? Or Amiran will keep that pace. He will uh, finish it. For the five minutes, probably the referee, Yanis Mavridis, was really looking uh, that it was possible to stop the fight from these strikes. Yes, he, really he came really Mungji. close. He came really close to stop the fight. I think two or three times. Exactly. And Mavridis is a, is a, he's a well-known referee, but he always let the action to the last. I mean, he's not giving you any guys a favor. Exactly, exactly. He, he's not going to give you an easy way out. Now, this is charging in, actually. Let's see if he's going to finish the take on the I think third he can round. Finish, I think he can finish the, the, the double leg from here. He can do that, but he needs to work. He needs to work. Now, Miranda's got all his mouthpiece out. He almost got his mouthpiece out. Yeah. That's a sign that he cannot breathe easily. It's really, really difficult for this great division to even go for a single pick one leg up. That thing is so heavy right there. Exactly. Amiran I mean, I mean, I mean, looks settled that like he's going to do damage from any position that he's in, even if it's an inferior position or a superior position. He doesn't care. I think Mugzi now is going. No, he let go of that ankle pick. I really think that Mugzi should look for a single leg right there. Exactly. He should move his body to the side, push Amiran off the cage, actually, because Amiran is putting his hips on the cage. That's, that creates balance for him. Let's see if he's got the both legs tied up right now, Mugzi. Iran is using every space, every centimeter of space that he has on his advantage. I think also Mugzi should try to get his head out uh, a little bit more on the upper position into the body, into the side of Amiran. Because right there, uh, he, he cannot finish the takedown very easy. He's using too much energy. That is so right. Actually, his legs are totally extended. His back is looking downwards, actually. And his spine is facing the ground. So there is no way that from that position he can be even one leg up. Both guys so suspended right now, so tired on both of them. Oh, both pumps landed. This is clearly bleeding from the nose. He's got a lot of damage. He's got 10 minutes of damage. And, and, now, uh, and there probably there are more coming in. There is another interesting boxing moment. And the knee, in the one, two. He's going to try to change with the elbow. Oh, oh Yanis Mavlidis is really close. Yanis Mavlidis is really close. Mugzis is not fighting back. Mugzis needs to fight back. Yanis Mavlidis is really oh, close. Amiran is landing big shots. He's landing really clean shots on Mugzis' head. What does it take to, to, to get Mugzis out of the way? I mean, he absorbed every punch that Amiran throws at him. Every punch in me. Every punch in me. Now Mugzis is a bloody mess. Look at that. He's yeah, smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's a 
tough guy. He is a super tough, tough guy. guy, super tough guy. But he needs to work too. Toughness is not the only commitment that he has. He needs to work. He, he needs to get to this guy down. He cannot just go for the, uh, for the final second of the fight. He needs, he, needs to to that, he needs to finish that double leg or that takedown. That's a really difficult thing actually because he has to move so much, uh, so much weight. It's his weight and Amiran's weight all the time. No, his legs are, are both extended. He cannot finish anything from that position, to be honest. Exactly. Plus his butt is higher than his head. He needs to be exactly. the opposite, the opposite no. way. The head must be higher than the butt in order to finish that uh, that uh, single leg, I think it's uh, that that single leg. No, I mean, that's your, a single leg. He, he, should, he, 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 he must fight for that single leg right now. Exactly. He's bleeding all over the place. Oh my God, he's got such a This is a bloody mess. He's going in one minute to work. He should actually force himself on the cage and take Amiran out of it. Now the two steps coming up. Amiran is, Amiran is hitting and now He's another separation. On Amiran's leg. And another separation. Um, just, oh, just he's covering. That's, that's, that, that, that's a trademark move of this school. That's a trademark move yeah. of this school. Another, another guy from his team has done exactly the same thing. Hako Harisi has done the same thing. He's covering the ball. I think that must be a school thing. We'll be cool. On first, second left. I don't think there is no need. Oh, Jesus, battered. Jesus, battered. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Side drives and moves. Side drives and moves. That's and it. That's it. That's it. He's going to stop the fight. They stop the fight. He's only third, second left. But the doctor said no. He's bleeding. Uh, actually, the, the lips and the mouth is uh, one thing that the doctors are very sensitive to. It. It's one of the points that you're going to keep bleeding. What a fight from the big guys. Really, really, really tough fight. There. Really tough fight. He just keeps laughing. He looks like he enjoyed it. This is he's a tough guy. I, I'll give him. I'll give him any credit about toughness. I think he, from now on he can go to the yep, team. Exactly. If he could be a little bit more uh, significant with his uh, with his grappling, I think that would be nice. But Amiran was constantly moving. Constantly attacking, making a small burst. And rightfully First. so, rightfully so, there was only 30 seconds left. If, if something so great will happen, I think Amiran will walk out with the decision anyway. Exactly. Very nice fight from both the big guys. Uh, that's from the third round. Amiran unleashing big punches. Great hand trap, you see that thing that Amiran was doing. He was holding with one hand, keeping a safe distance. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes, 27 seconds of the final round, we have a winner by way of a referee stoppage uh, from Thessaloniki, Amiran Sandoni! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Amaran Severni. Amaran, the problem you have when you are a huge monster is that you have to fight huge monsters. This takes you unbeaten. Two fights now, no losses. Do you have big plans now or are you gonna take it slowly?
and he's going to fight anybody who they put in front of him and who his trainers tell him to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Amaran Severni!